discuss the facial nerve lesion which occur outside the skull and its findings are the effects of the lesions. Facial nerve, the seventh cranial nerve, comes out of the skull through stylomastoid foramen. It's a nerve of the second pharyngeal arch and supplies muscles of facial expression. When it comes out of the stylomastoid foramen, under the substance of the parotid gland, it divides into five major branches, temporal, zygomatic, buccal, mandibular, and cervical. Temporal branches to occipitofrontalis and orbicularis oculi, zygomatic to orbicularis oculi, buccal branches to orbicularis oris when vaccinated, mandibular to mentalis, cervical to platysma. The muscles of facial expression that it supplies are frontalis, orbicularis oculi, orbicularis oris, vaccinator, platysma, and mentalis. So what are the functions of these muscles of facial expression? Frontalis raises the eyebrow, orbicularis oculi closes eyes, orbicularis oris closes mouth contracting puckering and wrinkling of the lips kissing or whistling so orbicularis oris closes the mouth and is used in whistling and closing the lips vaccinator it flattens the cheeks help in eating prevents food from accumulating between cheeks and teeth whistling and blowing wind instruments so vaccinator flatters the cheek and it helps in eating and this is the important point prevents food from accumulating between cheek and teeth because this is what happens in facial palsy that the food accumulates between cheek and teeth platysma draws the angle down mentalis elevates the wrinkles of the skin of chin and protrude slow lip and corrugator and procedures they wrinkle the skin between eyebrow and face so what happens with the suction of the facial nerve at the stylomastoid foramen it paralyzes all muscles of facial expression forehead is unfurled because furrowing is a function of frontalis eye does not close because orbicularis oculi is paralyzed and that closes the eye lower lid sag so that Tears spill over the cheek, orbicularis oculi. Corner of the mouth droops, orbicularis oculi and vaccinator. Food collects between the teeth and lips, vaccinator is paralyzed. Saliva dribbles from the corner of the mouth, orbicularis oris. Sensory loss is rare and taste is intact. Diagnosis of Bell's palsy. Bell's palsy has an abrupt onset with pain behind the ear, loss of taste and hyperacusis. 80% of the patient recover in a few weeks to few months. The recovery is delayed because of the axonal degeneration. Acoustic neuroma, CP angle tumors, infarct, demyelinating lesions of multiple sclerosis and tumors are common lesions that interrupt facial nerve fibers. Which disorder cause insidious onset Bell's palsy? They are tumor like acoustic neuroma, carotid body tumor, cholestetoma, and dermoid. Which disorder may cause bilateral Bell's palsy? They are Lyme disease, Guillain-Barre syndrome, and sarcoidosis. Causative organism for Lyme disease is Borrelia burgdorferi. Which disorder causes recurrent Bell's palsy? Melkerson-Rosenthal syndrome causes recurrent Bell's palsy. So in the investigation in blood, CBC and ESR for infection, CSF for infection, and for sarcoidosis, ACE inhibitors and X-ray chest, serology for Lyme disease and varicella zoster virus antibodies in Ramsey Hunt syndrome, ELISA testing, MRI, EMG and endoneural fluid examination. So what's done in ELISA testing? In ELISA testing, anti-varicella zoster virus IgG and IgM antibody titers is done. EMG shows evidence of denervation 10 days after the attack indicate that there has been axonal degeneration so recovery may take months and may be incomplete nerve conduction studies shows axonal degeneration that leads to delayed recovery and in the endoneural fluid test presence of herpes simplex virus type 1 dna in the endoneural fluid and posterior auricular muscle suggest reactivation of the virus in the geniculate ganglion. MRI. MRI may reveal swelling of the geniculate ganglion and facial nerve. Number two, MRI shows facial nerve swelling in idiopathic Bell's palsy. And number three, they are very helpful in detecting CP angle tumors and facial nerve tumors.